Teflon model 500 HF transceiver covering 10 through 80 meters. Now, this particular swan has been sitting for a number of years. Uh, physically it looks pretty nice. The uh, cabinet screws have been replaced on the outside, not by me. Uh, the outer case is, is nice. Front panel good. Uh, missing the uh, end cap on this particular knob here. It's a little silver end cap there. The rest of the knobs do look all original and complete. A little bit of uh, issue on the label here on the Swan 500 label. But other than that, physically it looks pretty nice. The dial scale has the uh, the old sun problem where <laughs> they leave it on one part of the band. As you can see, it's you know real nice over here, but you know get in this part of the band, then it kind of darkened up probably from sunlight. Uh, in any case, there you go, the Swan 500. We will do a quick transmit test. This one not putting out uh, full power, but it is putting out power, as you can see. It's over 100 watts. Uh, probably, now that's in a tuned position. Uh, this one may do a little bit more, um, uh, but that's what it's doing right now. We've done nothing as far as uh, cleaning contacts or anything. In fact, the receive, this is into a dummy load here, it does have S noise, but it's real noisy. The switches, or a little bit noisy, uh, as you can hear. Uh, band switch, all that needs to be cleaned. Uh, don't know if it receives or not, but it does transmit. And there you have it, the Swan Model 500, 10 through 80 meter HF transceiver.